Hello! Today we're going to show you uh, Citrix HTX 3D Pro delivered with Send Desktop 5.6. Uh, basically, we've start, already started one of these. Uh, our desktop is here. Just to let you know what we're, what's on the background here uh, in the data center, we have a brand new IBM HS22 uh, with the um, GPU Expansion Blade 2. If you can see, this is the blade, and this is the GPU expansion unit. Um, it's an NVIDIA Fermi GPU-based card. It's a Tesla M2070Q. Uh, we've used the latest driver from the uh, NVIDIA download site. site. I believe it's uh, 295.73 or something like that. So this is basically what's running on the, on the back end. Um, if we take a closer look at the um, the the, uh, the HX Pro properties of this desktop, uh, you can see tools is out of date. Not to worry, uh, it's because we did some upgrading. Uh, we we basically run four v virtual CPUs for this uh, desktop. Uh, remember to read the uh, the documentation from Citrix so you dedicate. If you want to do more than two CPUs or virtual CPUs, you need to uh, put down some code to in order to get it to hook up the second two uh, v, v CPUs. As you can see, here is our GPU type. It's uh, stated as an NVIDIA Corporation G, uh, GF100M78Q GPUs. Uh, so that's basically our setup. Uh, if we go into the desktop, First of all, you probably want to notice that. So you probably, if you not played around with this before, uh, there are some basics you may need to understand before you begin to test anything with the HTX uh, 3D technology. Uh, there's a button here called Looseless. As you can see, uh, the screen looks perfect, uh, flawless. There's no itchy or glitch in the uh, pixel rates. Um, if you just go to a basic um, basic website like my own, um, you will see that pictures maybe come up nice and smooth. If you turn off the looseless stuff, you can see that it becomes a lit little more. That's because of the lossy uh, effect. If you see around the corners of this Windows uh, logo, you see with and without. Looseless. Turn it off. Turn it on. You see the shading and the, the pixels gets blown up. So let's turn it off. Um, let's just do a basic uh, uh, demo. Remember, if you want to do this demo, uh, turn off the full screen. And let's just let it load and um, and let it let it go. So basically, this is a, a pretty hard uh, rendering stuff for the GPU. Um, as you can see, directs. Direct 3D 11. You can also choose other stuff if you want to. You can do different stuff with the different um, uh, hair. You can even move out and yeah, put some pretty. So if you see the rendering, it's it's flawless. I mean, it's just mind blowing good. Uh, this is a virtual desktop we're talking about, and uh, you can see when we can sw switch cameras and see how nicely and beautiful this island looks. Um, pretty amazing stuff. So if it's, if we just quit this one um, and let it go out, uh, we can do the same demo exactly with uh, a real-time HDR. Uh, as you can see, we're we're about 100 frames per second. Um, at times, it's 
actually up uh, against 160 frames per second. Uh, flows nicely. You can stop it at any time, move it around. There's no hiccups, no nothing. Works smooth as whatever you want would expect. You can blow it up. Blow it up some more here for you to see. Like that. And you can turn on the demo again if you want to. Enter the planet mode and it will continue. As you can see, it runs flawless, smooth as what you would expect on a normal computer desktop workstation. No glitches, no nothing. Um, if we go over to uh, AutoCAD, uh, bear in mind I'm not an AutoCAD uh, expert, so whatever I do here is not intentional, so to speak. So let's just start up 3ds Max, which is a pretty heavy Autodesk uh, product. Um, talked with a couple of guys that actually works with this stuff daily. Um, they participated for me that, and they said to me that, in some cases, actually on their heaviest and best workstations, they they expect it to load in like two or three minutes. While it's starting, let's just blow up the HDX monitor um, so you can just get a glimpse of the desktop I'm running with it uh, on the network side and whatever you have. Uh, let's just, oh, sorry. Let's just open it up. Oh, it needs to collect some data, so let's just go into here. Uh, as I said, my um, my skills in this is limited, but if we let it play, you can see nice and smooth. Um, Runs like a charm. If you do rendering, um, you can see it's pretty fast. Now I've learned a couple of things about um, the rendering stuff in in 3D Studio Max, and that is you can use something called iRay, which is much much better for uh, the rendering stuff. Uh, so let's just assign on a different render. Uh, Sorry about that. Production. Choose render. iRay render, um, I was told, was the best way to go. Uh, so let's choose that one. Um, and it also defaults that for the material, whatever that means. Um, <clears throat> you can also choose to save it as a file if you want to. I've already done that, so I'll show you the results. If I just hit render now uh, and hit continue, don't mind this one because it will work. You can see this is a heavy, heavy duty um, uh, film if you want to or uh, animation. Uh, it takes a while to render it, uh, although with this card inside a virtual desktop it's pretty, pretty fast. I was told by some guys, and I timed this, it took about 4 or 5 minutes last time I did it. Uh, I was told by some 3D Studio Max guys that they've usually used like 15 minutes or something for the same, um, same uh, demonstration template that Autodesk includes. So let's just cancel that one out. Now bear in mind, we have tested this with uh, different kinds of games. Uh, it's not the purpose of HX3D 3D Pro to actually work with games, but we 
tested it with Microsoft Flight and we've also tested it with Mass Effect 3 and it worked so that there you have it that's probably as you can see my score on this one is is 10 out of 10 it runs a pretty pretty good graphic cards <laughs> card if I might say if you want to see the setup for it it's it's an Nvidia um, it runs like this and it's uh, physics you can set different types of stuff with the Tesla card um, we'll be back with other demos soon so keep checking us out thanks bye